every single day we remember to be thankful for our good life and health but what if your family members friends or even stranger did not have the blessing of good health how can we help them rather than just say get well soon the secret is by donating our blood hello everyone my name is nur emilia azurin and my speech title is say yes to donate blood do you even know that blood is the most precious gift that anyone can give to another person? Sharing is caring. Ladies and gentlemen, everyone has their own story. Let me share to you guys about my story that altered my whole life and opened my eyes about the importance of donate blood. Look at the picture. Do you guys know who is she? She is my mother. My mom diagnosed with blood cancer called leukemia. She must undergo chemotherapy every month as a result to maintain her health. And for the months, two months, she requires blood transfusion on a regular interval until now. I still remember one time her transfusion was getting delayed because of unavailability of group match of blood unit in the blood bank. Even though we managed to get blood donor, but still it was the most traumatic moment of my life because my mom could die without the blood transfusion and since then i decided to become a regular voluntary blood donor and always try to motivate others for the same ladies and gentlemen giving blood has numerous advantages for both donor and the recipients give blood give life there are a lot of benefits of donating blood include helping people injured in accident, this includes uh, car crash victims, burn victims, women who have given birth, or even individuals who have blood disorder such as anemia or sickle cell disease. By donating blood, you may also be able to assist someone who has cancer and is facing a grueling period of treatments at endless hospital visits. Donating blood is good for you and it is even better for all the people who desperately need the help. As we can see at the statistic, this is the effect of COVID-19 of blood donation. The coronavirus disease 19, COVID-19 pandemic caused a major impact on blood donation process and supply globally. After the enforcement of movement control order MCO, blood supply at National Blood Center and other blood bank in the country reported a prominent 40% reduction in comparison with previous last year. One out of every seven people who enters a hospital will need a blood. And hospital use more than 6,000 units of platelets and nearly 6,000 units of plasma daily. That means more than 10,000 people need to donate blood daily to meet patient need. In Malaysia also, said by Deputy Health Minister, there is currently sufficient blood supply at the National Blood Bank, but a constant supply of blood donation is required. He said the, blood, the bank's blood stocks needed a constant supply of blood donation as the country consumed approximately 2,000 packs of blood for medical treatments nationwide daily. A single vehicle accident victim may need up to 100 pins of blood during their recovery from their illness. Patients with sickle cell disease or cancer require blood transfusion throughout their treatments. Since blood cannot be made, cannot be manufactured, these patients depend on blood donors for their very lives. With this new, we have to maximize our effort to find more donors, to find more donors in Malaysia. We have to increase awareness that this is happening by doing more campaign. Speak to media about the importance of blood donations and the successes and the challenges of our country in meeting national needs for blood. Government also can organize activities to celebrate World Blood Donor Day and promoting voluntary unpaid blood donation to the public across government and to other sectors. The aim of campaign is to raise global awareness of the need for safe blood and blood products for transfusion and of the critical contribution voluntary. Unpaid blood donors make to national health system. 
the day also provides an opportunity to call to action to government and national health authorities to provide adequate resources and put into place systems and infrastructure to increase the collection of blood from voluntary non remunerated blood donors. This includes uh, provide resources and infrastructure to facilitate voluntary blood donation so that everyone in every state can get at easy access to donate their blood. Next, blood donation centers and organizations need to tweak their messaging to address this and focus on how good it can feel to do something for others right now so people can feel more comfortable interacting with the health system. Many people have written to work in offices and make regular trips to the grocery store. However, a sizable portion of the population still does not feel comfortable doing anything in a healthcare setting that they don't have to. They believe plenty of people are trying to avoid anything to do with health because they, there's a potential that COVID-19 can be spread. According to the Food and Drug Administration, trusted source, people who have recovered with COVID-19 may be able to access others who are afflicted by the illness by giving blood plasma. Antibodies to the infection may be present in their plasma. If this plasma is given to someone else, it might eat to their body in battling the infection. Ladies and gentlemen, Donating blood are an excellent technique to determine your blood type if you are, have ever been unsure. You will receive a complimentary mini physical health check before each donation. Your temperature, hemoglobin level, blood pressure and also pulse are all checked by medical practitioner. Blood samples are examined for hepatitis B, hepatitis C and HIV and also other among other illnesses. This quick examination can reveal a lot about your health and may reveal an underlying illness or danger to your well-being. In addition, if your blood is too low in the iron, the clinic will tell you and won't draw your blood. An occasional checkup on your blood quality could be the key to spotting a health issue before it becomes life-threatening. Also by that, one of the benefits to giving blood that directly affects you is that you can lower the iron level in your body, which can reduce your risk of heart disease. Studies have shown that most people consume too much iron day to day. By giving blood, you lower, you lower your iron level and allow your body to replenish it with fresh blood. While we discuss lowering iron in the blood as a benefit to giving blood, the risk of developing cancer can be reduced as well. According to the recent research, lowering a level of iron in the blood can reduce the risk of that individual developing cancer, even if the odds are slim. Other than that, donate blood it is a great way to help your community and only takes about one hour of your time. Donating blood is one of the best gifts you can give to help patients and honor loved ones. It is very personal and you will feel amazing knowing that your donation has a direct impact on, on the life of a stranger in dire need. In fact, donating blood can work wonders for your mental health too. Multiple studies reveal that helping others can reduce stress, improve your emotional well-being, reduce negative and feelings and feelings of isolation and give you a sense of belonging. So ladies and gentlemen, what are you waiting for? It's obvious now that donate blood can give a many benefit, not only to ourselves but to other people. You can look up to Google the place to donate blood and I promise you that there are is a lot of places you can donate. You can go to Pusat Darah Negara at any state which opens 7 days a week from 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. Other than that, relax. I know you are excited now to donate blood. Remember, before going to blood donation, donors need to make sure they are 18 and above, slap the minimum of 5 hours a day before, no medication takes within 1 week prior to donating blood, and had a proper meal couple of hours to ensure that the donor has enough energy and lastly this blood donation must be at least three months or more before the donation 
Let's be kind and save other lives by donating our blood. Thank you.